triple integrals. Evaluating triple integral over rectangular box. Just as a double integral can be evaluated by two successive single integrals. So a triple integral can be evaluated by three successive integrations. So the first theorem, Fabrenius theorem, let G be a rectangular box defined by the inequalities A less than or equal to X less than or equal to B, C less than or equal to Y less than or equal to D, K less than or equal to Z less than or equal to L. If F is continuous on the region G, then integral over C F of X, Y, Z, B, V is equal to integral from A to B, C to D, K to L, F of X, Y, Z, D, Z, D, Y, D, X. Moreover, the integrated, uh, iterated integrals on the right can be replaced with any of the five other iterated integrals that result by altering, altering the order of integration. That means, which is equal to this triple integral is equal to triple integral, uh, triple integral, so in this case, we'll integrate the function with respect to z first, then with respect to y, then with respect to x. So we can interchange the order of integration. That means integral from c to d, you can do uh, integrals from a to b first, then integrate the function with respect to c to d, then with respect to k to a. So any order can be, uh, any order of integration will give you the same answer. That is the Fabrenius theorem. So these are the possibilities for two dimension, two uh, variable case. The only possibility is dx dy and dy dx. So six order of integration are possible for iterated integrals in in this theorem, fourteen point five point one. That is dx dy dz dy dz dx dz dx dy, etc. To dy dx dz. So these six possibilities are there. Now the first problem, evaluate the triple, triple integral over G, 12 x y square z cube dv over the rectangular box G defined by the inequalities. X is between minus one and two, y is between zero and three, z is between, between zero and two. So of the six possible iterated integrals, we might use, we will choose the one in equation number two. So we can choose any of this order. So we will first integrate with respect to z, holding x and y are constants or x and y are fixed. Then with respect to y, by holding uh, x is fixed. And finally, we'll uh, integrate that function with respect to x. So this is the order, integral from zero to two, z varying from zero to two, y varying from zero to three, then x varying from minus one to two. Integrate the function, 12 x y square z cube. So integral of 12 x y square z cube is equal to three x y square into z plus to four by four. So, 4 and 12 get cancelled uh, equal to 3xy square z raised to 4, z varying from 0. Upper limit minus lower limit. Upper limit z is equal to 2, 2 raised to 4 minus lower limit z equal to 0. So, lower limit equal to 0. 3 into 2 raised to 4 equal to 48xy square dy dx. Again, integrate this function with respect to y 48 x y cube by 3 so 48 by 3 is equal to 16 x y cube y varying from 0 to 3. upper limit uh, 16 x into 3 cube minus 16 x into 0 so that is 16 uh, into 3 cube equal to 432 x dx Integrate that function uh, with respect to x. 432 x squared by 2. That is 432 by 2. 
Now, evaluating triple integral over more general uh, regions. So, instead of integrating the triple integral over uh, rectangular regions or rectangular box, triple integrals over uh, more general regions, say that GBA is only. So we need to integrate this, uh, integrate a function f of x, y, z over the solid G. And for example, solid G is defined by z is varying from g1 of x, y to g2 of x, y. So we will integrate the function first with respect to z from g1 to g2. Then we'll project this surface into x, y plane. Then we'll integrate that function over that projected region R. So let G be a symbol x, y solid with upper surface z is equal to g2 of x, y and lower surface z is equal to g1 of x, y. Upper surface g2 of x, y, lower surface g1 of x, y. Now let R be the projection of G on the x, y plane. So if f of x, y, z is continuous on G, then triple integral of G f of x, y, z, d, v is equal to double integral over R. Now first we'll integrate the function f of x, y, z with respect to z. f of x, y, z with respect to z from g1 of x, y to g2 of x, y. So it's a non-rectangular box region that means solid is that varying from a function of x y to another function of x y and r is a non-rectangular region or x varying from a function to another function or y varying from a function to another so this integration is with respect to z after which a function of x and y remains. So this function of x and y is then integrated over the region R in the x. So that is we are discussed. It. Now to apply equation number three, it is helpful to begin with a three-dimensional sketch of the solid G. The limits of integration can be obtained from the sketch as well. So, uh, limits of integration. Find an equation z is equal to g2 of xy for the upper surface and an equation z is equal to g1 of xy for the lower surface. G. The function g1 and g2 determine the lower and upper z limit of the integration. That's a limitation. Uh, it's uh, sometimes it's difficult to find g1 of xy and which one is lower, which one is lower. So make it another one, step two. So first we will identify z. z is equal to g1 of xy, g2 of xy, two functions, and we will find which one is lower and which is lower. Then first integrate the function f of xyz uh, with respect to z from g1 to g2. And the second step is make a two-dimensional sketch of the projection of R. So after integrating with respect to z, we will project the surface, the solid into x, y, y. From this sketch, determine the limit of integration for the double integral over R uh, in equation of this. So this is the equation. So projection, then limit of x and y. So after integrating with respect to z, it will it become a double integral. Over R. double integral over uh, this is a function of it's a function of x and y. Since we are integrating with respect to z and z is varies from g1 to g2. 
So G1 is a function of X1, G2 is another function. Upper limit minus lower limit, you will get it is a function of X, say H of X1. Then integrate H of X1 with respect to X and Y over the region R. 